Congrats on downloading Safey app and joining thousands of drivers who decided to make logbook complications a matter of the past and focus on what they do best, moving the economy. In this video, I'll introduce you to Safey app in few minutes so you operate it like a pro and harness every single benefit it was designed to deliver to you, from relieving you of carrying the logbook to making your interception feels like a pit stop. Before I start explaining, could you please pause the video, go to your phone settings, and switch off the screen auto rotation? Then hold your device in horizontal position and resume the video. Thanks for that. Let's now start from the work diary sheet itself and make our way to the app. In the sheet, all data entries that could be automated or minimized have been removed from the scene. When that's done, the simple timeline graph remains. So we gave it a facelift where work is represented by a yellow line and rest by a gray one. Simple. Work. Rest. Work. Rest. The second thing we wanted to relieve you from is holding the app in the same way you've been holding the worksheet. The horizontal position that forces you to read and write vertical text by tilting your neck. Well, no more. Please hold your device in the normal upright position and enjoy watching the rest of the video as if you were using the app yourself. We made the timeline continuous so you don't have to flip pages. To move between the days, you only have to scroll up or down, and you can notice that every calendar day starts at 12 midnight where a date label is placed. At exactly the current moment on the timeline, the total work and rest of your current 24 hours is displayed along with the breach counter. The work and rest total monitor is smart enough to display the totals of the most relevant 24-hour period if you have period overlaps. Then we have the action wheel. It is permanently placed at your thumb tip to enable you to do the frequent tasks with maximum ease. The last major component on the timeline screen is the top bar. It contains your last 28 days so you can reach any of them in just a touch. It's got the connection status lamp and the actions that you do less often in the app. Let's now get in action and start recording, correcting, and, if needed, deleting work and rest records. And see along the way, all the intelligence that is delivered to you in planning and monitoring your time while all regulatory compliance mandates are taken care of automatically. So you, again, focus on doing what you do best. To create your first work, awaken the action wheel and select W slash R switch. The work start screen will display where you will be able to select the time of starting the work, picking the location on the map, not needing at all to worry about finey spelling mistakes. Lastly, type in the speedo reading as it appears on your dashboard and hit confirm. Immediately on the timeline, the work line is drawn and the duration of the work so far is displayed on it. The total work and rest monitor is awake and counting, and the upcoming rest indicator shows you visually the time you have to stop for the next rest. Upon pressing the upcoming rest button, the time remaining to start resting displays, as well as the exact time you should not cross but with rest started. Doing the same procedure over and over creates your work and rest records on the timeline. However, you might have wondered why the upcoming rest indicator does not display the restoration you must take. The answer is that the restorations prescribed in fatigue management tables are just the minimum durations, meaning that you can rest more if you'd like. The second reason is that most rest types can be combined together, knocking multiple birds in one stone. This raises the question of, how can you engineer rest to your benefit? This question takes us right to the rest engineering tool that we call the activity monitor. You can access it by pressing on the total work rest counter or by pressing the eyeglasses icon. Once you're in, you'll meet the horizon box, which shows you the lineup of all future rests, what period they belong to, how much time is remaining to start the rest, the exact time it needs to be started, and the minimum duration of the rest. From here, you can look at the numbers and decide which rests you'd like to take individually and which ones you'd like to combine according to how your day has been going and what would you like to achieve. The majority of rest types are combinable. The official NHVR term for this is concurrent fulfillment. 
So as a rule of thumb, if you knew the few rests that you cannot combine, then you know that everything else is combinable. The rests that you cannot combine are the mandatory four-night rests that you must fulfill in a 14-day period. Two of them must be consecutive, and the other two are not necessarily consecutive. Let's put this piece of information in action and work out three scenarios of combining rests. Scenario 1, taking three consecutive night rests and considering that you fulfilled four, two consecutive and two non-consecutive. That's a no, no, because you may not combine the four nights rests that you have to take in any 14-day period. Scenario 2, taking a 24 continuous hours rest, where seven of these hours start and end between 10 p.m. in the night and 8 a.m. next morning, and consider that a 24 hours rest and a seven hour major rest break at once. That's cool, and if you do this, the app will take care of counting this double fulfillment for you. You don't have to tell the app anything in this regard. Scenario three, on standard fatigue management option, and after five hours of driving, you take a one hour rest, knocking down the 5.30, 8, and 11 hours rests all at once, then go again for five hours and 15 minutes of uninterrupted driving. That is fine. Remember that all this explanation was to answer the question of how can you engineer rests to your benefit. Now that you knew how to record work and rest, and keep an eye on the activity monitor to plan how you'd like to make your day, let's have a look at how you can delete or correct an entry, starting with deletion. Deletion is only permitted on the currently running work or rest, so you don't stuff up your timeline. And the only case we can see you using this feature is to realize that you did a mistake in your last entry right after you do it, so you delete it and do it again. The steps are, press on the current work or rest to display its info, Scroll down, press on delete, and confirm. You'll notice that the previous work or rest will extend to current time. That's fine because you can freely choose the start time of the work or rest you'd like to enter again. Now let's look at correction, which you'll need most of the time if you did some mistake in your entries. Before showing you how to do it, I'd like to let you know that correction triggers a mandatory comment that is visible on the timeline for everyone in the chain of responsibility, including interception officers. This comment contains the wrong data entry, the correction, and the reason that made you do it. I'm not letting you know this to deter you from correcting if you've done a mistake. I'm rather telling you this so that you write a clear and understandable reason so that officers in particular can make sense of it and wish you a good trip as they do with the thousands of drivers who use SAFE. So, to correct an entry, press on the work or rest event that you'd like to correct, do the correction, confirm, type the reason, confirm, and you're all safe and sound. The correction comment will appear as a star on the timeline. Pressing it displays the details of the comment. Additional to record correction, there are endless scenarios where comments are helpful or needed. So, we made it possible to post a comment on a specific work or rest by pressing on them and selecting Add Comment. This way, post the comment at the start time of the work or rest. However, if you want to choose the time the comment displays on timeline, then initiate it from the action wheel, type it, select the time, then confirm to see it posted exactly where you want it to be. Moving on to the end of the day, similar to signing the pepper sheet, you have to call it a day and submit your records of the day. Submission serves as your signature on the records of the day, and, once done, the records will be locked and can no longer be edited. The best way to do your submission is to go to Review Timeline Screen and review your records, where you can see that locations and odometer readings are displayed on timeline besides every switch, and that comments are pushed to the side but also clickable if you want to review their content. If you're happy about your records, get back to the action wheel, select submission list, and press submit of the day that you'd like to submit, then confirm. Pretty much, you are 90% through knowing how to use the app, the remaining 10% is to know how to change or update the fatigue management option, the truck, the base, the record keeper, or the accreditations that you hold. And of course, 
how to show compliance view to interception officers. Let's begin with that first. If stopped and asked for the logbook, bring up the app and enter in the compliance view, then give the device to the officer to have a look. The officer can see the breaches, if any, review your accreditations, driving license information, and comments. Once they're done, they might opt to write an annotation, documenting that they have checked your logbook. Then, they return the device to you, and you exit the compliance view by entering your account password or PIN. Last but not least, updating the records that are less frequently subject to change. If you're changing your fatigue management option, base time zone, or driver option, you can do that via the gear icon. Simply update your selection and confirm. If you need to change the truck, go to table icon, select vehicle registration, select add new, or switch to this if it's a truck that you used before. Select the time starting on the truck and hit confirm. Same steps apply if you'd like to update your base, record keeper, or accreditation. Select the item you'd like to update, select add new, type in the details and attach pictures if it is an accreditation and hit confirm. Well done. In less than 10 minutes, you've got your head around the app and now it's time to run it yourself. Normally at this moment, there are three questions in your head. Can I stop recording on the paper logbook as soon as I start on the app? Absolutely yes, but keep the paper logbook in the truck until you have 28 days of records in the app, then you can put it away. Second question is, what if my employer doesn't have a contract with Safi? Can I still use it? The answer is yes, because your subscription includes a free record keeper access where your employer can see your records from the comfort of their desktop and you can add any number of record keepers. For example, a compliance and an operations colleague. You can also introduce us to your boss to work with them on enrolling the whole fleet in SAFE. To the moment of making this video, more than 20 fleets of 10 to 100 trucks in size have enrolled in SAFE and can't be happier about this decision. Question three, what's the best time to start recording in Safi? Well, definitely not in the middle of the shift. The best times to start ordered from best to less best are, one, after a rest of 48 hours or more, two, after a rest of 24 hours or more, three, at the start of a new shift in the middle of the week. Now that you know this, you can decide what time you'd like to activate your seven day free trial to make the best use of it. When you're ready, Hit the activation button and go full on safety. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends. And follow Safety Logbook page on Facebook so you know about new app mastery videos, features, and offers right when they are posted. And if you need help, please check the how to section videos or contact us. Well done! You're now ready to use Safety eLogbook.